Hello and welcome again to night number two. That's right. Horror movie night month is back. Uh, movie night is back. This is night number two for me. I know this is like, what, seven days into the uh, month now. And I've only watched two films, which is poor, but oh well. That's how it goes. Anyway, today I will be reviewing a film I have not seen before. It's a film I've been interested to see for a while. I've seen it in a few people's collections. I fancy getting it and it was re very very cheap last week and I managed to get it for $4.99 brand new so I'm happy to get it uh, that film is an Arrow release uh, Arrow do great great releases as most people already know with some fantastic special features so I am really looking forward to checking this out and this is City of the Living Dead now, I don't know much about this film uh, I don't know much about it at all all I know is it involves zombies hence the title but yes yeah, so I'm going to be checking this out and I'll be reviewing it after um, I'm not expecting it to be fantastic but still I'm willing to give it a go I like my zombie film so we'll check it out see how it goes so anyway I've got my beer at the ready because if you're watching a horror film you've got to have a beer I'm going to turn the lights down in a second and see how it goes but anyway thank you guys and I will review this film very very soon stick with us So, City of the Living Dead, directed by Lucio Fulci, right. big uh, B-movie horror director, uh, from what I've read. First film I've seen of his anyway. Now, let's go with the good. He sets a scene, he really does set a scene. He makes it creepy. I feel that he's, he knows what he's obviously doing with those scenes. The, the story was so so, you know, it's it's different from your typical zombie film, you know, not a virus or anything like that. It's uh, set up as a sort of voodoo curse or something, so some priest, you know, hangs himself and opens the gates of hell. Clever priest, that's all I can say. Clever friggin' priest. Yeah, so he hangs himself, opens the gates of hell, and then... Obviously, shit goes down, basically. So, that being said, the the idea is different from most zombie films, which I, I did like. But going into it a little bit more, it's it's definitely not the strongest script in the sense of you know, I just didn't buy it that well. You know, it was different, but it was just a little bit like I know you're trying to be different, but just wasn't making sense to me the cast are are relatively good you know it's the, the three main cast members the two guys and, and the female lead who i thought was obviously dead at the very start which was weird i don't know what the hell that was about but yes the, that was okay they were good the, the rest of the cast were poor i mean it's just some weird bad acting i'm going for the seance lady to start with with the hair that was poor acting but I suppose B movie you get B movie actors and to be fair even in big budget films you get actors who are just not up to the grade so to be fair I can't really have a go at it like that you know you, actors are actors you're going to go with what you can afford and to be fair they went a lot more into the practical effects and the and the scene uh, the scenes the, the sets they obviously put a lot more money into the practical effects than the sets so they had to scrape the barrel with some actors, but the three leads were okay. It's an okay film. It's it's not great. It's not the worst zombie film I've seen. You know, for the time it was made, you know, you had Evil Dead come out around the same time. So, you know, you had Evil Dead. You had the da Dawn of the Dead a couple of years before that. So it's obviously trying to be a little bit different. And you know, Evil Dead's very different. I think, in fact, this is this is what Evil Dead would be if. Evil Dead wasn't set in a cabin. It was set in the city. That being said, the transport or the teleportation, cheating. Cheating. I do not like teleportation, but it's cheating. You know, the zombies already have a, you know, a fair unfair advantage of the fact that you try and stab them or anything, they don't really die. Teleporting? What the hell? That, that's just not fair. But anyway, you know, it's a minor little thing. All in all, it was an okay film. I 
you know, I sat there, I enjoyed the practical effects, they were quite good, you know, again for the time, very impressive for what they were at the time, you know, I especially like the, the bleeding eye thing, that, that was pretty cool. Story was okay, script, hammy, to say the least, you know, there's some really dodgy lines, but I don't know if it's just the quality of the actors saying those lines. But the three main actors, I enjoyed the direction, very good, the, the, the cinematography was good. The picture quality was okay for, for a restoration as well. Arrow do do a decent go with that. The um, special features, I haven't had a chance to check out, but there's, there's loads. I probably will eventually check them out, because I do like looking at special features. So, I'm going to go with a solid three. three. Three out of five for this film. I've seen worse and I've definitely seen better, but it was different. I just it was just little little bits I didn't like, and it, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. For four quid, I'm not going to argue. So yeah, definitely three, definitely three out of five. That's my second film done for the horror movie month so far. My next one will be up hopefully by the end of the week. I'm going to start trying to go for another film I haven't seen. I haven't decided yet. There's a few I want to watch. But we'll let you know when I get to it. Uh, well, yeah, I'll let you know when I get to it next on the next video. Or you'll see me town. Thank you for checking this video out, guys. Hope you enjoyed my review. And I will see you all very, very soon.